Hello, my name is Lisa Shea. Today we're going to talk about drinking a wine at the proper temperature. You don't have to be all wine snobby about this, but I think it's fair to say that if you take a wine bottle right out of the freezer and try to drink it, you won't taste very much because it'll be too cold. And if you put it in the hot sun where it's 100 degrees out and you let it get to that temperature and then you try to drink it, you won't taste very much of it either because it's going to be too hot and you'll just taste the alcohol. So you want a sort of middle range. And the question is, how do you know what that middle range is? Because temperatures in houses can vary wildly. You can't just go with room temperature because some houses are 50 degrees and some houses are 100 degrees. So I have this cute little Supco pocket infrared thermometer. They sell all sorts of different versions of these things. And all you do is point it at a device. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Point it at a device and press the button. There we go. Wasn't pressing it hard enough. So, see, it says the candle flame is 108. This wildly expensive bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon that I just pulled out of the wine fridge, because you definitely want to keep your Three Wishes Cabernet in the wine fridge, because that's 66.1F. And this nice bottle of Centenier Grand Marnier. Come on. Come on. 81.5 which is actual room temperature so I've had this one at room temperature this one was in the wine fridge and the candle is hot so I definitely recommend you get it you don't have to get this particular one this has a nice little stand if you want it to sit up and see what it's doing and it just takes a regular watch kind of battery but they've got all sorts of other different kinds of infrared thermometers out there. So if you just carry one in your pocket or have one in the drawer of the house and that way you can tell if the wine is at a temperature that you want it at or if you want to get it a little warmer or a little cooler. Ask with any questions. Maybe we should make some sangria with this stuff and that stuff. Probably not the best idea. But you never know what you can come up with. Feel free to leave comments and I hope to talk with you soon.